All right, I got my new little blender set, and and really what I was looking for is more than anything, is I was looking for something that I could mix my smoothies in, and uh, and this this caught my eye really fast, and it's really nice how it has this little piece here that, and it locks into place too, by the way, and it just blends it up nicely. Then I just take it off of there, unscrew this, and put this on, and then it has a really nice. This is a really nice lid. For one thing. It has a bigger mouth on it, so on some thicker smoothies like I like, it works beautifully. Now this here, and it seals really well too, by the way. And I'll tell you, you can just snap it on your belt and go on down the road. It's just so cool. It has this nice rubber to where it doesn't slip out of your hands too. Nice thick plastic. I mean, this all has thick plastic. This Even this little one has just as thick of plastic as the rest of it. So it was made really, really well. Now this handle, I have to say, is really nice to hang on to. Now, this is thicker, and I, I tell you, it doesn't have hardly any noise to it, which, which I really, by the way, you push this up to get into it. But this is a really heavy-duty sealed top, and another nice thing about it is it has a really nice place to pour from. And it snaps on, actually. It doesn't actually come up either. And uh, it has the traditional double blades. Now, for something this small, a double blade, I, I want to say is unusual, but quite frankly, I've been looking for one. So this is the other thing. The two blades... Even in the smaller, because I like mixing up uh, uh, different different types of uh, of um, sauces, and I tell you, the single blade it works okay, and it's worked okay for me for a few years now. But this works extremely well for that. Not only does it push it up, now this design, see how it comes up like this? This pushes it up and around, and you get a really good blend. This is what I like about this one. This blends. This I threw my other one away, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Um, it also has where you can also has the increments on it and everything, but it has cups, ounces. A lot of the a lot of the ones. My other one just had the liter one. That was it. So that was very cool. That it has both. Um, this is a really high end motor. It has the single button for it though, um, and it does not slip around. This is kind of a little bit heavier, even you know when picking it up like this. Now I could do it. My girl has to use two hands. And it just, and it just, um, let's see, am I doing this right? Yeah. Now it locks in. You got to make sure it locks in. Have it on right. See, <laughs> better look at this side here. <laughs> uh, so anyway, make sure it locks in. And then there's just a, you know, as long as you hold the button in, it's doing the job. You can reverse yourself. You don't need any of those fancy buttons, I found. And I don't even use those fancy buttons anymore. I only use two buttons. So uh, even on my big one, even on my big blender. So. Um, this is just really, really nice. And this doesn't slip around either, by the way. This is a really nice rubber. Everything is well thought out. And, um, I have to say it is, it is, it is so cool. Um, but, I mean, this is, you notice this doesn't have a lot of noise to it. And it all locks in. It all locks in. Now, that one has a little bit more. <laughs> but really, I don't really care because this is exactly what I wanted it for. I may not have a... No, I didn't have a lid tight, tight. Just, you make sure this is twisted on tight before putting it in. But I just love how it locks in. There's no accidents. It's really cool. Um, it does have a really nice long uh, wire to it, even though I have everything plugged in there. Um, but, uh, of course, stainless steel is my favorite. Everything in my kitchen is stainless steel. And seeing, not that that was a major issue part of it, but it was very nice that it was. Because this is going to be out all the time, because I'll be using it all the time. So... Um, absolutely no cons. This is really nice.
Hello, it is Saturday, February, what is it, uh, February 11th, 2023, and I'm doing a review on this chopper, mixer, grinder, blender, and uh, I already prepared some of the items, and the reason I did that is because the review that I did just prior to this, it went eight minutes long, so I'm like, yeah, no, mm -mm. So this is now the second part of it, and uh, hopefully I'm going to keep this short, uh, short and sweet. All right, so you've got your cup. This also has a blade already, four blades. You also have this grinder, and I had put uh, fresh oregano in here, and I chopped it or grinded it uh, with this blade. And so you can, you can change, you can use whichever one you want for each thing. So the oregano came out really finely chopped. I love fresh oregano. You can put any type of spices for that matter in here, uh, any type of herbs. It, uh, it chops nicely, all right? And the way that you would chop is here is the motor right here. Put it on top of here, flip it, press the button. All right, same thing with the cup. Same concept, you put it on the top of this. Now for the larger container, this is uh, 40 ounces and the max line is there and five cups. That would be your cup size. And then, tw uh, let's see, 1200 ml. You also have a lip right here that if you do put something liquidy in here, you can also pour. I dig, I dig that feature. So lift up with your thumb. It's got a nice seal on it. And this is the way the ice came out. Now, I didn't put any liquid, so it chopped very, uh, I'm very happy with the chopping portion of it. For the summertime, making frozen drinks, uh, this is gonna be the perfect consistency. This is what intrigued me, is the two level uh, blades. So I'm happy with that. And the way that this chopper works, now I'm not going to put it all the way in because the ice is there. It goes up on the top like this. That was my other feature that I personally like. I have a mini chopper and it has this type of concept. I do not um, like the other ones that the motor is on the bottom. I like it, like it on the top and then I can control it. Now, the pulsing is awesome, the chopping is awesome. The only con that I have about all of this is that I wish the button would also just stay in one place. So when you pressed it, it could just stay on continuously. And I say that because I make my own almond butter and it's just straight almonds and it's the machine's on for a good, maybe five, six minutes. I'm gonna have to hold that button down for five or six minutes. So uh, I won't be making my almond butter in this. Uh, frozen drinks in this and uh, chopping up vegetables and herbs, yeah. Um, so all in all, uh, I feel that it's good quality, uh, in my opinion. And um, I like it, only time will tell. I will update my video should uh, anything occur. Thanks and make it a great day. Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. I bought this from Amazon. Uh, I use the coffee ground. Uh, this is my coffee and I use coffee ground. But this one, it's strong and I can use it three times with the full size. And after that, I thought that it get warm the blender label just get warm but that's that's fine for every device it's like this but you cannot use for heavy things and you put this you close the button like this and put inside like this and turn it and it's good and for this one here the big one the mixer one it's open like the sorry it's open like the pushing up and when you open when you put your stuff here and set up button and you click and this device should be top and uh, come to the top of this first you should close this and as you can see it should be close for any direction and i think it's now close yes it showed that for any direction it's not close and this machine Sorry, there is no room because the wire is a small uh, like this. Sorry, like this, it will come on top of that. And when you click, it's like you can see how many blender is inside that. I like the blenders, 
There is a ton. <laughs> and oh, I don't like this option because it should go top. The heavy part should go top. It's the new style. I'm not sure what did it do. Here you have a one button key. There is no extra option. And it's strong. And let's go to the mixer. For this mixer, you can use this one. And also remove after the finishing. You can attach this part of that change to the normal butter for sport those stuffs and yes that's it i like it i love it because there are several options only the things that this wire is very short i don't like this one and the new starch it should go top of that i'm not sure what it do but there's blender here i love it there's a strong blender thank you for watching bye